Aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. Here's what's up today. We're doing a little bit of an expose on a place that is ruining the local water. I haven't done a video with my cousin in forever. Not because I haven't seen my cousin in forever, but just because we just haven't done a video in a long time. I don't know why he's busy, I'm busy. All kinds of other excuses, but we just filled up some gas, got the dogs in tow, and we're headed to a place called Clow Mine. expensive around these spots, yeah? Let's go, Brad! God. <laughs> Get out of the car. <laughs> Help you laugh so hard you end up on a ventilator. <laughs> Stop at the hospital. <laughs> no. Thanks. <laughs> Try to keep that in the car from now on, all right? Cloud mine and Buena Vista mine. Old mercury mine from back in the early 1900s that uh, they tried to fix, kind of, I guess. Potentially leaking mercury still into the local waterways and maybe nothing has been done about it in the last, I don't know, 20 years or so. And I figured we should probably go check it out and see what's going on with it and see if we need to do something about it like uh, expose it. They had built a, a, collection a collection reservoir or a pool at some point, and then uh, one year with a lot of rain, which obviously doesn't happen around here all that much, it uh, got close to an inch from being filled, and so they took a pump down there, like, oh, that's not good, well, let's pump it out. And they ended up building a second reservoir that was, I think, 1.1 million gallons or something like that. Uh, don't know if it's big enough. We're just gonna go check it out and see if everything's all good. Play Captain America. Um, I met Captain Planet. Figured we'd bring you guys along with and see what we can't see. What are you expecting, Cuzzo? A good time. myself a pat on the back for not crashing that drone into the trees, flying manually there, following the car, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Driving a big old truck, pedals to the metal, my accelerator stuck, rolling down the highway until the break of dawn. I'm driving a truck with my high heels on. Oh, don't look very high. So, oh, I guess he wasn't BSing us. That says hazardous waste. Keep out. We're gonna keep the dogs in the car so they don't drink any of this foulness. So, let's have a look see. Yeah, so uh, that looks pretty disgusting. It doesn't look like anything's living in there. Not yet. Not yet? What do you suppose is gonna live in there? I don't know, it's some primordial soup looking shit. Doesn't look good. What do we uh what do we do from here? I don't know. See where it goes. Goes under the road. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that, that metallic sheen right there coming off the water, you can kind of see screams uh, pollution if the orange color didn't give it away. Pretty nasty. So, this stuff, this water, flows and is likely tributary to Los Tablas Creek, which then flows right to Lake Nascimento, which is a recreational lake and uh, people fish in it. And, uh, I mean, it's the water from Monterey County, right? Uh, yeah, I think they use it for drinking out of Monterey County. There's wakeboarding, swimming, skiing. And then out of there, it runs into the Salinas River, which is one of the main sources of water going north. Feeds uh, the Salinas Valley, which is considered the salad bowl of, of California. So, you know, food produced nationwide eventually just gets watered with this. It uh, sure uh, makes its way. There was a super fund set up by the EPA what, however long ago. But as we mentioned at the beginning, it seems like uh, basically nothing has been done in the last 20 years. So I guess the point of this video is to try and just bring some light to that which may have been forgotten, but is definitely still happening in a pure disgusting form. And don't like it. I, mean, I know they had to make their money back in the day with the mercury mining and they didn't necessarily know what they're doing, but Whoever made that money probably pay for this so that we don't eat mercury and swim in it and drink it. So this is the same stream that merges with the other one down below. You can see what it's supposed to be looking like. Nice and clear, like water generally looks when you, you're happy about it. And uh, yeah, it would be nice, I guess, if this video makes the rounds and we can get this in front of the faces of people that need to see it and that are that are also local folks that that care about the environment around here you know we we usually do this channel about animals and reptiles and stuff but not always and a big part of caring for animals and reptiles is caring for the environment especially your local environment around you and hope the best for it and if you see something that you can maybe help with well to do just that so i guess we'll be forwarding this video on to local representatives and, and people of that's, that nature and see if we can't push forward to get that, that mine contained and, and cleaned up to where it's not affecting our local waterways any longer, as it has been for the past however many decades. And uh, that would be great for everybody involved, um, especially our kids. So now that we're in a spot that's not contaminated, I think we'll let the animals out of the vehicle and let them enjoy this pristine nature as it was meant to be. Stick his head in that hole. Well, hopefully he comes back out of there. Um, I think I'm gonna sign off for now though. I'd like to thank Cuzzo for bringing us out here, bring this to our attention in the first place and 
we wouldn't have known about it without him, honestly. And uh, yeah, hopefully he gets back out of that cave before the sun goes down. And we will uh, see you guys on the next video. But thank you for paying attention to this one. A little different. And uh, I think it was worth it. Let us know in a comment down below what you think. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Aloha. I should probably get my cousin out of there. <laughs> Cuzzo, out.